Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're looking at the DreamWorks construction update out in Universal Studios, Florida. And guess what? Yeah, this thing is going to get an opening date in nine days from the court, from the time this video is published, uh, which is uh, April 20th. This uh, land will be getting an opening date on April 29th. So yeah, this will be one of the final updates for this land. Maybe we'll do like one more, one or two more after that, but this land should be opening by June. So let's get like one of our final peaks of a mostly completed DreamWorks land. I wanted to start off in the central area of the park because these new lily, or new like leaf shade structures have been installed. I think they're so cute, very well themed, and they do provide a nice amount of shade. Plus the plenty of trees. There's so many trees in this particular area. Um, provides plenty of shade for the area. So yeah, this looks just beautiful. Yeah, more of an overview of the the land you see the Shrek Swamp area and the Troller Coaster, and just more of those leafy type shade structures as well as the whole land. Again, plenty and plenty of trees. You can see even see the lily pad play area and just a whole overview of the land. And it's just about again looking more specifically into the Kung Fu Panda area. This work this area still has a little bit of a ways to go. It's kind of lagging, I feel like, behind the other parts of the project because this one has lots of detail. But the interactive gong is installed, as well as the water features are mostly installed, but there's still a lot of exterior and probably interior work, like the pools, the, the Po Live area is such to be installed on the facade work, but the facade should look much, much better, much uh, more complete just in a couple of weeks. I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like they're going to really work on this area next and make it look like Po Kung Fu Panda. Here's another shot of the area right here. Um, you can see Kung Fu Panda. Again, they, it looks like they're getting the whole, ready, whole area for, ready for a nice paint job. And they're probably going to clean the roof area where all the water slips and falls onto the guests. Over on this side of the Kung Fu Panda, pair, Kung Fu Panda area, see a lot of what is this conduit or either theme or conduit sticking out of the sides here. I wonder what that, these are going to be. I can't seem to know what this is from the concept art. I feel like that is not the final product and they'll be working on this area quite hard because yeah that looks like it's certainly uh, unfinished and I'm um, sure there'll be more theming uh, later on for that. Here's a close look at the interactive gong that you guess we lining up to hit and um so making be making some sounds and maybe have some effects. And each land or each a couple of areas of land, the Shrek area and this area have a big dryer, one of those walk-in dryers where you probably go and pay five bucks and get dried off. Because again, this is not a water park. This is a dry area, but there'll be tons of water uh, opportunities from, you know, the Shrek area and the lily pad and here in Kung Fu Panda with that giant bit of water falling on you. So it's good. We have a couple of these dryers here to dry everyone off. And there's one last aerial shot of the Kung Fu Panda area coming together. You can definitely see that, that Asian architecture, Asian sub Asian inspired architecture coming into focus. And yeah, she needs to really get a paint job and then some of the interactive features. And then it is all ready to go for its potential June or early July opening. Moving on over to the Shrek area. You can see there's a little bit of the Shrek Swamp play area and the Shrek Swamp meet and greet area, as well as Mama Luna over there on the top hand side, on top right side, covered in trees, as well as some of those cool lily pad areas as well. Moving on over into a close look at the Shrek, Shrek Swamp play area. You can see the little tree stump where kids will be climbing through. And then there's that lily, uh, the cattails area, or well, I call them cattails. Looks like they look like cattails, but that'll be a potential small water area. You can see the, the uh, permeable um, ground there for the water to seep back in. There's a nice little log there that I'm not sure if that's what it's going to look like or if that's gray area still has to be painted or not. And another look at the Shrek Swamp, Shrek Swamp, Shrek Swamp play area. I cannot say those words. Uh, it's frustrating. But um, here's another look at that area. It looks fantastic. It's a really large play area. And I like how they have that perimeter walkthrough. So you can kind of just kind of hang out over there. And hopefully I'll put that area with some benches. Because I feel like that would nice, be a nice place for parents to sit there and watch while their kids play and go through the slides. Which kind of... You see there are slides and bridges connecting to that main structure there. So I really like the layout of this area and feel like you also get a nice view of the land sitting up top on that sky bridge. Here is where you'll be meeting the Shrek uh, area, Shrek characters. The pavement is all installed and the landscaping is done as well. 
for the Shrek Swamp meet and greet. Looks absolutely fantastic as always. And here's a close look at the Mama Luna area. Well, I meet some Puss and Boots characters as well as there'll be an interactive feature in here with some, with some digital screens inside this small rotunda. And lastly, let's end it with trolls. And in this area, it's looking fantastic. Poppy's Playground. This is the smaller playground for like children two and under mostly, but anyone can play on it, but it's geared towards children two and under. Looks fantastic. A little home bush, a little areas to crawl through and little bugs to sit on under a nice massive shaded area. Again, still looks like it could be could have been a nice flat, flat ride there, but hey, um this is just as great and provides plenty of shade plus the additional trees there. They're still doing some work on the main structure. You see that boom crane there. But other than that, it should be looks about just about done and ready to go. There's a larger look at the entire area, plus another area with it looks like Poppy and her friend there in the center. In the middle there, I wonder if that's a fountain. It looks like I see some blue, but I can't see if it's a fountain or not. I could be because it is fenced off, and there looks like there's a bench seating area there. So I feel like Universal would definitely uh, take the opportunity to put a nice little fountain there. And again, they're adding the park back to the theme park, not just the Epic Universe here, but um, DreamWorks Land as well. And lastly, just going to check on the Troller Coaster, which looks just about complete. All the theming and the spiders have been completed the trolls treats next to it and that boom box is done the queue is done it all looks absolutely fantastic it's been testing um as you guys know so yeah it is all ready for its opening in just a couple of months and again i cannot wait to share with you the opening of that again we'll be doing an update video on not just the opening for that but it will be the summer announcements as well the parade and lagoon show so it'll be a big video on summer stuff coming to universal studios for so you want to stay tuned for that and how do you stay tuned, one might say? Well, you can easily do it in lots of ways. You can subscribe by clicking that subscribe button. You can also click that join button to become a YouTube member for other access to videos just like these and other exclusive perks. Be sure to also follow my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff, all which are appearing on the screen button in front of you. And also, if you want to get some permanent information and other exclusive, exclusive merchandise and really contribute and help support the channel, Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash club722. You can click on that at the end screen, end screen of this. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time following this project for you. A quick project, but it's a great project. And thank you again to BioReconstruct for covering it for us. And I'll be covering, he's covering Epic Universe and all the Disney World stuff as well. What are you most excited about for this project? Are you excited to take your kids here? Are you excited to go here yourself? What is your favorite property, DreamWorks property, that will be represented here? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, stay tuned for the opening date. And have a troll-tastic day.